Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'd call up uh, High Camp number three. I am heading over to. I don't want to belabor a long discussion here on every detail. It's a fairly lengthy amendment, but um, I want to respond to Senator Colburn, who suggests that some of this is related to parochial interest. I th parochial interest. Um, obviously, we have service centers in North Dakota. We have rural post office in North Dakota. But we have a growing population in North Dakota, and I could tell you stories about the post office. And, you know, including my favorite one that I heard on my last trip back, which is that uh, the local lady who delivers the po mail for years under contract, rural, rural carrier, everybody knew her, she knew everyone, met, always checked in on the elderly. Well, she lost her contract on a cost-saving measure, and uh, they hired a company out of California who hired ex-cons who threw the mail in the ditch. So that's, that's the way I look at the post office these days, through the eyes of my constituents who, let me tell you, you might think that's an isolated story. I could go on for at least 20 hours here telling you about the post office. But my interest in doing this and doing this amendment is to try and have some accountability for what's going on as they make decisions, whether it's on service centers, what, whether it is going forward. And I know it looks like a fair amount of increase in bureaucracy. But from my standpoint, we cannot just sit idly by without some accountability to the post office and how the post office is being managed. Um, I might suggest we wouldn't be here if we had quality management at the post office. And so I am, um, I'm not going to go through this in any detail unless somebody wants me to. I understand Senator Levin's been able to get an accommodation on, um, on extension on the um, uh, six-day delivery, which incidentally, if I could just comment, the one thing the post office does that uh, nobody else does is six-day delivery. I don't know why we would want to take away that one advantage that they have in the marketplace, but I've, I've run a few businesses in my day, too, and sat on a few corporate boards, and I always look to what I'm doing that nobody else is doing and how I can leverage that opportunity. And so I feel pretty strongly about six-day delivery um, as an opportunity for the post office, as not, not as an economic burden on the post office. And so I'm not going to um, put, a, put a target date in here, as I understand Senator Levin's been able to secure a commitment. But I'd move this amendment because what it does to me is it provides accountability, it provides responsiveness to the consuming public and to the people who expect their mail to be delivered on a timely basis, and people who expect their mail to uh, mail carrier to be responsible um, and uh, show up. And just one point about the service centers. That is a critical part of delivery of the mail. You know how I know? Because when the service center doesn't process our mail, and it doesn't get delivered to the Dickinson Post Office until 2 in the afternoon, I've got postal carriers who are delivering the mail at 11 o'clock at night on icy streets. And so this is, we cannot just say, let's fix the post office without looking at some of the problems that we have today. I want accountability. That's what this amendment does.